Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Tomb Raider, part the second, uh, where I've had a lot of technical difficulties today getting this set up. I hope none of them persist as we play the game. Now, I think I've ironed everything out. Think. Emphasis on think. We shall continue where we left off. We're in the lost city of Vilcabamba. Actually, well, we're t specifically we're in the tomb of Qualipic. If I recall, here we are. Marvellous. We just came from this direction. If I recall, I think this... Yep, yep, that closed behind us, didn't it? Yep. Right. Let's do this. We're here looking for a magical ancient doodad. And we were sent to find it by some American business lady on Lara's laptop thing. That's about all I remember, honestly. I'm not sure if you really play Tomb Raider for the We're plot, if I'm honest. You, scum. Pyrex, thank you very much for 12 months of subage. Finally hit a year. You have indeed. Oh, God. I should have known. Well, then. And this is now closed. The doodad we want is that thing on the table there. Okay. You just spend 90 minutes on a proving battle in Dragon Age Origins. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you're playing through the game on Nightmare Difficulty, right? Um, okay. Yeah, this is definitely a door. This definitely looks like a door that needs to open somehow. Uh, ah, aha, I think I see it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, game. What do you like? Bloody Tomb Raider and its jump scares. These games are, like, surprisingly scary. Right. Flippin' egg. <sighs> right. Freaking dinosaurs. I forgot about the dinosaurs. How could I forget about the dinosaurs? Okay. What do we have here? This looks like a thing I could probably push. Or not, actually. Hmm, interesting. Now, this is a thing I can push. I was pretty nonplussed about the whole dinosaur thing. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, hello. Come on. Oh, there's no room to maneuver it any further, I think. You can get a little glimpse through there via the janky camera, though. Job seat. Go have a cold shower, mate. Get it out of your system. Hello. Yes, old triangle boobs herself. Must resist backseating. Yes, please do resist it. Anything over here? No. Oh, God. It was a trap! Oh, we've got wolves and dinosaurs today. Oh, God. Come 
Can we do the flip thing? I want to do the flip thing. I don't know if you can do that in the first game. Let me just... Right. Take a health kit and see if I can do this. If you jump forward and then press back... No, it doesn't work in this first game. Can you do it with the end key? No. You can do the roll. But I don't think... Not with guns drawn? Really? It's like the most useful time to do it. What was the other button you could do it with? That's the... You could do the swan dive there. Yeah, no, I wasn't trying to do the swan dive. I was trying to do the thing where you flip in midair to face the other direction, which can be really useful when you're fighting in combat, but I think that might be a Tomb Raider 2 thing. Yeah, I don't seem to be able to do the roll in midair. Oh, well. Can't do it in this game, right? Yeah, good to know. Hmm. Lara's not quite badass enough yet. <laughs> yeah, she also can't crouch until, like, I think Tomb Raider 3. And she can't sprint until Tomb Raider 4. Or perhaps it was the other way around. No, 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 no. Pick up the health kit. There we go. It's the OG Tomb Raider. Yep. The best Tomb Raider. Well, actually, no. That's up for debate. A lot of people have a different favorite classic Tomb Raider. I think my favorite might actually be Tomb Raider 4, but I know a lot of people are very partial to two. And a lot of people still prefer the original over the others. All right, can we pull the lever? There we go. All right, we got one of the little gate things open. Let me guess, this drops down to that bit I saw earlier. I've got to remember to use the actual roll from time to time. Except, well, that didn't quite achieve what I wanted it to there. Never mind. Uh, right. Could really do with a map. Never played a Tomb Raider game. Probably should someday. They're probably quite frustrating to play if you're a modern gamer to tell you the truth, but, um, eh, I like them a lot. You'd probably be better off playing that anniversary, I suppose, if you've, if you're a quote-unquote modern gamer and you want a bit of Tomb Raider action, I would recommend Tomb Raider Anniversary or Tomb Raider Legend. Modern gamer TM, yeah. <laughs> is this another slidey thing? It is, isn't it? I missed this last time. Tomb Raider is, like, it, it's very good at hiding the goddamn blocks you need to, um, push. Alright. Another gate open. Dave here is old. Not as old as some. Oof, spikes. Yikes. Uh, now would be a good time to save, I feel like. Go back up to the top of the queue. What's the purpose of this block here? I feel like there should be a purpose for that. I wonder. I've told people this story before, but I remember I when I was a kid, I had the demo for Tomb Raider 3. 
And I remember playing it just as my mother was walking past me on the computer. And just at that moment, Lara happened to fall into a massive spike pit and had a very gory death. At least it was gory for 1997. Um, and my mother was absolutely fucking horrified. <laughs> I don't remember her exact words, but it was something along the lines of, oh my god! Didn't stop me playing it, though, to a credit. Somebody in the pre-stream segment, and I was playing the soundtrack for this game in the background, mistook this for the soundtrack for Halo. And yes, it does sound very Halo. Hmm. What am I missing here? Do I need to do a diagonal jump? That looks way too far. When in doubt, save the game and jump. Yeah, there's no way I can climb up there. That's, that's, yeah. It's just a wee bit too high for old frog legs here. There is a side passage. Let's, let's go down this. We go. Ah, stairs. Excellent. Well, I say stairs in air quotes. All right. Okay. Hello. What do we have here? Secret? Yeah, it's very bright in this tomb, considering there's no bloody lit torches or candles or anything down here. I think Lara can just see in the dark. She eats a lot of carrots. Oops, I meant to grab there, but I was too slow. Yeah, it's a constant effect night. I, um, backpack. Well, maybe it's her shorts. In fact, that would explain a lot, because that would explain why in Tomb Raider 2, when she's in the snow, she wears a fluffy jacket, but still wears the shorts. It's because the shorts let her see in the dark. Okay, I'm back here. What in God's name did that achieve? <laughs> Puzzles! Okay. Look at that perfect triangular figure. You can count the polygons on one hand. Right. So what have I achieved now exactly? There's a bit there, but I think this is a little too diagonal for me to make. Could be wrong, though, I suppose. No, that's that's too diagonal for Lara, I think. Hmm.
Can I get back up there? I can't. That was a one-way trip. I can move the lever back, but I... I um, yeah, maybe that's what I have to do. Now that I have this side door open, I guess. Bonk. Yeah, that's what I need to do. That was not the right button. Excellent. Oh gosh, now what? These crafty ancient Incas or Mayans or whoever they were. Bollocks. Oh, uh, um, okay. I think I need to move it back again now. Where are we going? Again, we're in the tomb of Qualapec. Somewhere in South America. We in Peru, yeah, Peru. So it will be Incas then, won't it? Boosh. Whoa. Hello. Can I do anything with this? Well, hey, gate number three is open. Oh, God. sometimes in life, there's nothing you can do except slow clap yourself. Hey, never mind. <laughs> right. I can brush up on my speedrunning skills now. You have to have a lot of patience to play these games, Dr. Fat. A lot of patience. <laughs> what is it that opens this door? It just seems to happen by itself. There's no I didn't pull a switch or anything, it just happened. All right, we move that across. Ancient Inca magic, apparently. I grew up playing this shit, man. I'm accustomed to it, but other people are not. This is why I. This is why I say you should probably play Anniversary instead. But that was not very clever, but okay.
Now we flip it back. Yeah, I'm going to save when I get back up here, Matt. There we go. Ah, this is why we save. You don't back up and give her enough room. Lara will not fucking do the jump. You press the jump button, she'll do fuck all. She'll just fly off the end. It's 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 a tomb, wonderful little Tomb Raiderism. There we go. And now we save again. And this time we do not gently lower ourselves onto the spikes. Now, one thing I do want to know, though, is can I walk among the spikes in this game? Yes. Can I run? No, not without taking lots of damage. Okay, you can walk among the spikes, though. PlayStation version just had fixed save points around the route levels. Oh god, that's grim. <laughs> I'm glad I never played this on PlayStation. <laughs> oh boy, hello. This is where we want to go. This is the bit we've just opened up. <laughs> I was about to say this looks dangerous. Ha ha ha! There it is. Oh boy. Have you seen it? Something's not right here. Draw your guns for the Easter egg. Ah. So. I forgot the first game had mummies in it. Tomb Raider 4 is all about the mummies. These are not very human looking mummies, it's got to be said. That uh, might be relevant. Uh, Lara, can you actually grab the doodad MacGuffin, please? Thank you. Oh no. Oh no. This is classic Tomb Raider right here. Played very urgent, loud music, but actually you have no idea what you're supposed to do.
Oh, this just opens. Okay. <laughs> I've expected another boulder, if I'm honest, but uh, hey ho. Sploosh. Oh, I've been shot. Oh, God. Oh, uh, help! How many shotgun rounds do I have? Five, that'll do. Well, you have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours, though. Hello? I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. You and that driveling piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your... Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre Dupont on that trail. And where is that? Ha! You ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natla. Thank you. I will. Hey! Kills eight, pickups three. Zero of three secrets! Am I not the proest of Tomb Raiders? Time taken, 18 minutes, 56 seconds. Not including times I had to reload and replay it. Ugh. Located now to St. Francis's Folly, new temptations torment me. Rumor amongst my fellow brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tihoke, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean Skion, a pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the creator himself, my toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies, but it is indeed a test. Pierre, you litterbug. All right. Welcome to level two! Also, there's a lion. Multiple lions, in fact. Bad kitties. No, no, no. You go play somewhere else. Right, save the game. Auto saves are not a fucking thing in this. Let's save the damn game immediately. Dr. Fat, stop it. You just installed a game, like, ten minutes ago.
Well, we have a door that clearly we're going to want to open at some point. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at its face. <laughs> anyway, um Hang on a minute. Did I see something on the floor there? Nope. Oh, I thought there was a piece of ammunition on the floor or something. <laughs> Thank you for pointing me at a door, game. The door didn't open. That one did, though. It's a freaking gorilla! We're in a zoo here! Multiple gorillas, we have multiple gorillas. Alright. Rambe, no! Well, what did that do? I think it summoned another gorilla. Okay, gorillas dealt with. The ancient builders of this monastery were like, I know what we'll do. We shall set a coming trap involving gorillas. What's interesting is there's a there's one of these symbols on the floor. Is there a block I can pull here somewhere? Maybe this. No. The Yetis are scarier. Just saying. Yeah, true. Like if you well look, I'll be honest, Django. If you find the gorillas a bit crazy. You ain't seen nothing yet. Hello, random dude. Nice jacket. Where's he gone? The zookeeper. <laughs> We're not in South America, Iconoclasm. sure what if anything that did but uh, 
Oops. That was too much, too much? Ugh. Could I make that jump? It feels like I could probably make that jump. I felt like I was off by a millimeter there. Maybe not. I think I need to move this again. Pizza or hot dog? I vote pizza. I'd never say no to a hot dog, but I don't think I'd ever go out of my way to buy one either. We're watching you, scum. C Team Live is gifting one tier one sub. Thank you very much. <coughs> yeah, he kind of just disappeared, didn't he? I'm not sure what happened there. My memories of this game are so damn fuzzy beyond like the first level. All right, I think it's going to be diagonal jumpy times pretty soon unless well, no, I don't know actually. Oh god, that was foolish. Damn it. Come on, we'll get there eventually. There, we, no. Watching you, scum. There we go. Hey, computer. Yes, more Tomb Raider. More Tomb Raider, indeed. Francis Folly. Ooh. Nope. Ugh. I don't know if this is actually possible, but I'm willing to give it a few more tries. The trick here is that Lara can actually maneuver in midair a bit, so fuck's sake. <laughs> you can feel the frustration growing on me. Really I'm not though. There we go. I knew it. I really enjoy these games. I find them actually very chill most of the time. Except when there's a trap going off or an enemy suddenly spawned. You're just sort of slowly figuring your way around the platforming. Enjoying the ambience. It's nice.
jump. Ah, missed. Whoa, hello, big thing. That's a crocodile. That is a crocodile. Ha! Nice try. How many bullets does it take to kill a croc? Not many, actually, oddly enough. Sounded like a kitty cat. Definitely sounded like... Oh, no, it wasn't. It was the sound of water draining. Okay. <laughs> Poor alligator's levitating now. <laughs> see, now, now, now part of me is curious to see what would have happened if we'd let him live. I guess he'd just be running around on the floor. I mean, it's going to be a crocodile, mate. We're in Europe, so... Oh, I remember this bit. I don't think we're necessarily in Greeks have Hecalopter. I think we're in North Africa somewhere. Or, uh, you know, somewhere around there. The Middle East, maybe. Well, there's a door over there, which we're necessarily going to want to open. It says Neptune. However, at one suspects we're going to be working our way down first. Whoa! Is that a bat? I thought it might be. Running this levels are right. Whoa! <laughs> the audible crunch, yep. Okay, let's try that again with a bit less fail. Or not. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Can you make her do the flip thing in this game? No. Uh, wait, maybe I need to actually do a jump first. Hold on. Because that's the swan dive you can do. But if you... Yeah, like that. No, she won't. Bonk. <laughs> uh, I think it must be the later games where she could do multiple, multiple flips in the air on the way down. The, the swan dive is actually a quite handy way to get yourself killed if for some reason you want to. Because it only takes a little bit of distance for the swan dive to kill you. Like, uh... Oh, no, that, she actually did it that time, but... Hello, bat. Oh, I'll stop mecking around now. Alright, we have a switch. Let's 
Thor. That's not a great god. What's that about? Does F6 look quick load? It does. It's good to know. I can hear a bat. There you are. Oh, you little... Pistols went into machine gun mode there for a second. Ah, first aid kit. Want. More like need, really. Damocles. Uh-huh. I think they fixed how fact of the mythology references are an anniversary. Really. <laughs> I assumed it was intentional, honestly. Atlas. <laughs> Thor. I feel like we should probably go to the bottom first, though. Please. There's the dead bat. And there's another switch. Let me guess this one's for Neptune? Yep. Yes. I can't remember if Damocles was the one who carried the sword or the one who saw, whose head it was hanging above. But yes, the sword of Damocles is the sword hanging over the head. About to fall. Oh boy, we got keys. Now that looks awfully suspicious. Oh yeah, that's definitely not a secret door at all. Uh -huh. There we go. that over there? Is that some ammunition? By Jove, I think it might be. Ah! Let's try. The bat set a trap for me. He's like, yes, I shall leave this ammunition here as bait. Okay, Damocles. I wonder if the myth of Damocles will play a particularly important role in this puzzle section coming up here. That wasn't an asterisk reference, it's just a general saying. Oh look, yes, hanging swords. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, if I'm to walk underneath it, does anything happen? Not yet, but I bet it will after I do something. Ooh. 
Ugh, okay. Invisible walls, is it? There's no light coming from my guns when I shoot them. Gib key. And now... Ooh, I wonder if that's a secret or something up here. How much do you want to bet? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's from Tomb Raider 2 and onwards. Oh, right. Now the sword's come to life, indeed. So, we save the game. And, ow. Didn't kill us in one, which is kind of what I thought it would do, but hey. Ow. Ow. Oh. There we go. They kind of launch themselves at you, don't they? Didn't see that one. Got lucky. Oh. Okay. That was fun. That was a nice little unique puzzle trap thing. <laughs> right, next one. How much do you want to bet Thor involves lightning somehow? It's a hazardous business, raiding tombs. Oh god, what did I just do? There we go. Sorry, accidentally opened a menu in Windows there. Huh. Too slow!
You have a French keyboard setting? I don't. Ow. Okay, so that can you get here, apparently. Um. There we go. Uh -huh. <coughs> oh yeah, since the very first doing song. It's a bit of a push. Hello, health kit. Don't mind if I do. Need it, actually. I got zapped by that lightning earlier. Yep. <sighs> um, I'm, I'm beginning to seriously wonder how much longer people are going to actually, like, sit here trying to logically question the things that happen in this game. Guys, it's Tomb Raider. It does not make any sense. It will never make any sense. There's really not much to be gained by making snarky comments about it. We're dealing with aliens and a freaking ancient lightning generator and a ruin full of gorillas. And dinosaurs. Guys, did, did the dinosaurs in the first level not, not, not give you a hint? Oh dear. That wasn't part of the plan, but fuck it, I'm alive, and who cares? <laughs> That's a correct way to do that puzzle, I'm sure. I did it my way, though. Right, doesn't a lion spawn down at the bottom at the, around this point or something? I'm sure a kitty cat spawns down at the bottom at some point. Yeah. Oh, for goodness sake, Lara. Oh, it's him. He's back again. Yeah, I'm dead, dude. I know you're making extra sure, but I am actually dead. What a git. What a git. <sighs> Can I get him from up here with a shotgun? I guess not. Damn it. God damn it! <laughs> Oh, 
Ow. I'm going to have to deal with this guest clearly before I go any further. Does he do that? Ah, I forgot to pull this switch anyway, so it's a good thing I did come down here. No, 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 not a run and jump. This is just a regular jump. I'm learning, folks. I'm learning. Right. All right, we've done Thor. No, no, they are, they are in fact dead bats and not machine guns. <laughs> Speaking of dead bats... Alright, what do we got here? This is Atlas! Right. What have you got in store for us, Atlas? A gorilla is the answer. Ooh. Atlas. And a boulder? I guess that makes sense, because, like, he held the world up and stuff, but at the same time, I feel like Sisyphus would also work, considering it's a boulder. So again, did he actually pull a boulder, Sisyphus, or was it just a big rock? Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus, wrong. Wrong. I jumped sideways. I wanted to jump up. Don't quite know how I managed that, if I'm honest. Uh... Let's, let's get the let's get the first aid kit. We can never have too many of these bloody things. <laughs> Oof. Okay, bonked our legs on the thing, but we're alive. That's the main thing. Thank you for the the medipack game. Quiet. Now we're just going to get Neptune's key. Shattered shin bones, but we're all right, indeed. I think a nice cup of tea and a sit down won't solve. No, we're not getting up there. Ok, 
Come on. There we go. I hear you. This game does not have a physics system, no. It's a mite too old for that. What do I like better, the old Tomb Raider games or the reboot games? The old ones. A hundred thousand percent. Okay, I fucked that up slightly, but good save. That is a lot of percent. Yes. I know, I played the first of the reboots, and I, I did complete it. And it's not that I didn't have fun with it, but the only bits of the game that actually felt like a Tomb Raider game were the optional side tombs that you didn't even have to do. The rest of it was just a vague third-person action-y game. And it was so serious too, really, really self-serious and po-faced and not at all silly and cheesy and playful like the original Tomb Raiders, which, which is, you know, a shame, if you ask me. Honestly, I think un the Uncharted games were better spiritual successes to Tomb Raider than the actual Tomb Raider reboots were, if you ask me. I actually really like Uncharted. Oh, I guess there's nowhere else to go but down. Wee. Okay. Figure this out before we run out of air. Of course, Lara does have the lung capacity of a professional singer. Um... Oh, you can't flip underwater in this game. Damn it. This better not be timed. Oh my god. Alright. Give me the key. I guess we figured out why it's called Poseidon, huh? Or Neptune, rather. Same bloody bloke, really, innit? Does this bit here really do nothing? Hmm. Kind of expected that to open like a door or something. But I guess not. The dude with the fork, indeed. Alright, I think we've acquired all the keys now. Which means we now need to laboriously make our way back down to the bottom again. I didn't mean quite that fast. I did! I was right! The kitty cats do spawn down here. I knew it! My memory didn't fail me. Just my platforming skills. There we go. We get the nice music again, at least. Oh, bollocks. <sighs> I 
What if I do this? Aw, oh, she can't grab onto another ledge when she falls down in this game. That sucks. I thought for a, just the briefest second there, I was being very bloody clever. In fact, I was I was really being very stupid. Straight on the med kit. To, yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on, Lara, grab it, grab it. No, no, she won't do it. Ugh. Sad times. What do I mean about being patient with this game, though? Like, impatience is your worst enemy in Tomb Raider, because it forces you to make stupid mistakes. Like I've been making. We're watching you. Damn it. <laughs> Ratsar, thank you very much for 43 months. Happy Saturday to you two. Hope you're having a good one. I'm doing weekend streams from now on, I've decided. It just makes more sense. Oh, God, I just loaded. I didn't save, I loaded. What was, what's going on? Brain. That's better. That bat's still coming for me, it is. So another one. Can hear it. Whatever. Kitty cats. Hello. Wasn't even worried for a second there. Honest. You can finally watch you're in living California and you're always streaming when you're when you're at work. Yes, well exactly. This is why I want to do weekend streams at the moment. Maybe I, my plan is to do a stream every Saturday and Sunday, and then maybe a third one during the week if I can figure out the time. But other than that, I will focus on YouTube videos during the week, and we will do a couple of nice long streams on Saturday and Sunday. In the afternoon. Finally found that bat. Look at all the bats I've killed. Holy crap. It just makes more sense to stream on a weekend because there's more people actually able to watch. Uh, oh, right. The keys are color coded. Oh, there's the Skyon, Scion, whatever. Okay, Damocles key, I recognize. Nope, nope. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> no. Neptune? There we go. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. It actually automatically selects the correct key. Fair enough. Mr. Hall bat Battalion. Ha <laughs> ha! See what you did there. So yeah, my plan going forward at the moment is going to be to do Tomb Raider on Saturday 
and Daggerfall on a Sunday. I might occasionally flip it around, though, depending on how I'm feeling. And uh, I will try and occasionally do a third stream in the week, which uh, might be populous at the moment, or it might alternatively be... Um... Hey, hey, 23 kills, 11 pickups, zero secrets again. 33 minutes. Um, but yeah, it might be... Um, populous, it might just be something completely and utterly goddamn random. I have a lot of random Steam sale games that I'd like to play, so... Sorry, Mr. Crocodile. Yeah, I see you there. Oh, are you stuck in the doorway? Sucks to be you. Bad kitty. You sleep now, okay. Nap time for you. With your cartoon teeth. <laughs> what happened to Mechanicus? Um... I just don't think I want to continue with it. It's just, well, there's other projects I'd rather work on, and it wasn't getting, like, a bajillion views to really justify carrying on with it. So I think I may just leave Mechanicus alone for now. I mean, it's always a bit telling that, like, you know, I mean, to, like, honestly, you're the first person that's even bothered to ask about Mechanicus. So... Can I shimmy around this? I bloody can. Tell me there's something worth grabbing. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. Yeah, I've heard Mechanicus gets like super easy later on in the game. Like, the difficulty curve is almost backwards. <laughs> but yeah, there's loads of other projects I want to do at the moment, and the trouble is trying to find the time to, to do all of them. I mean, it really is just a question of time management. Like, I could do more Mechanicus, but... That means less time spent on something else, like actual 40k battle reports, for example. And I think, I mean, this is probably not necessarily 100% true, but I would imagine most of the people who enjoy watching me play Mechanicus would probably enjoy me watching play, watching me play actual 40k more. You know? On that note, I am going to be filming another bat rep as soon as these, these rooms get sorted out. I believe the next one is going to be Eldar versus Necrons. Ooh, hello, Crocs. How did you guys get stuck in that pit? With a medkit. This is possibly a very dangerous and silly thing I'm doing right now. Steve Irwin, I am not. blocks along the wall is this one two so like Tomb Raider kind of works on a block system uh, it's almost Minecraft-esque 
and the maximum distance Lara can jump is about three blocks, I think. And if you look at those textures on the wall, that's about four blocks away, that other ledge over there, so I don't think we can make this jump. Let me see if I can test my theory and see if it's right, but I'm pretty sure I am. Ooh, Colosseum is the name of this level. Yeah, see, we were just short. wasn't really the plan, I have to be honest. No, 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 no. Come on, Lara. God damn it. There we go, finally. Ugh. How embarrassing. Uh, can I shimmy along this? No is the answer. Where else could we go at the moment? I th hmm. Maybe if I jump... Ah! Ah! I think perhaps you meant this, didn't you? Hold on. It's not what you meant, but you missed that. You missed that too. All right, fair enough. <laughs> uh, I got a minute. Can I climb up here? Is there a secret here? There might be. Yes! Hello. Secrets are belong to me. Do you know what we've not done in a while? We haven't saved. I half expected spikes, if I'm honest. I handled that rather well, actually. Oh my god, the view distance. <laughs> I guess we're in the Colosseum, aren't we? Is a gorilla going to fight the lion? Oh god. Oh god, a big shot. It's you again. Hello. Where are you planning to run to now, asshole? There's nowhere for you to hide. He's not supposed to die yet, is he? Clearly. <laughs> I should probably just let him escape. Oh god. Mistakes were made. Hello. No, don't shoot that one, Lara, for goodness sake. I'm dead. <sighs> Does this game not have its game on the game list? Its name on the no. Basically, if you put Tomb Raider in to the game list, it just gives you the reboot. It doesn't give you the original. So I had to just put it as retro.
Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Fail. I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> Please die. Thank you. All right, where's jerk face? There he is. All right, he's running away. You go do that, dude. You run away. Or don't. General Store! Hello! 49 months of subage. I appreciate it greatly. Is he gone now? I think he's gone now. Currently, I think he's I think he's Pierre. I think his name is Pierre. He got mentioned in the cutscene. I think that's the name of the dude. He's obviously wearing plot armor at the moment, which is why we can't kill him. I don't know if rapid firing like that by rapidly mashing the fire button actually gets you anything, but you can do it. Well, there's a door. I don't think I've ever gotten past this bit. Now that I think about it, I think this might be the furthest I ever got with the original Tomb Raider. Poor lion. Can't really do much except stand there and just be like, oh god, I'm being shot to death. Oh, hang on a minute. Did it just spawn another one, or were there always... I think there were always two. Lion's just like, no, mistakes were made. Same with the gorilla. Let's go check out what's on the other side here. More bats is the answer. Has a guess. Oh, no bats this time. Ah. It's a very square Colosseum, isn't it? They might have been better off with a hippodrome, really.
All right, friends. Put you out of your misery. Okay, so we can climb out over there. There is a hole in the ground here, Ooh, which leads to spikes. Oh, hello. We're watching you. Weirdy beardy. Welcome back for two years of subage on the nose. Thank you very much. Hungry, hungry hippodrome. Sigh. Oh, hello. Didn't see this. Well, this was a one-way trip. Oh, God, I should have known. Oh, oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be so much fucking fun. Oh, God. Jump back, Lara. No, she's dead. She's dead. Yourself. <laughs> oh. She really should have saved some shotgun ammo for that encounter, really. Another one? There is another one over there somewhere, but... I do have two rounds. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's give it a whirl. Ah, bollocks. There we go. opens this. Huzzah. Now the question is, how do I get out of here? Um... Do I like this game or Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine more? I think I like Infernal Machine more than this specifically, but when it comes to the later Tomb Raiders, it's a little bit more difficult to call because they both have pros and cons, right? Infernal Machine's a bit more easygoing. Its jumping controls are a little bit more intuitive. Uh, it has a map and a hint system built into the game in case you get stuck, which is always, of course, quite nice. Smart kitty, you ran away. Um, And um, one thing as well, Infernal Machine really has going for it is tons and tons more dialogue and characters and talking and stuff. Indy is just a far more verbose protagonist than Lara is. Basically owing to the fact that it's a LucasArts game and LucasArts do love their dialogue or, you know, did back in the day. Um, you know, and the, the, obviously the prequel to Infernal Machine was a point and click, a LucasArts point and click called Fate of Atlantis. So, you know, um, it has a slightly different vibe. But the night, uh, the thing I like about Tomb Raider is that it is it, it is more challenging. Um, the platforming is more challenging. There's a great degree of skill, and I won't lie, Tomb Raider has way better combat, way 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 better combat than Infernal Machine. Infernal Machine's combat is like, you, you know, you could probably remove it from the game entirely and uh, it might even improve the game. Yes, you can get Indiana Jones the Infernal Machine on GOG. It is, it has finally at long last come to GOG after years of me wishing it would. I have a full stream series of it on my old live stream VODs channel on YouTube. Um... I did a whole Indiana Jones marathon. I played the three big Indiana Jones games, Fate of Atlantis, Infernal Machine, and Emperor's Tomb. 
all three are, of them, by the way, are fucking great, actually. They're really good. Actually, we don't need to go up here. We want to go where that lion came from. Why don't they make Indiana Jones games anymore? I heard there was rumors that there was a new one in the works, actually. But I think it's mostly just because LucasArts disappeared. And they were the ones making all the cool Indiana Jones games. But yeah, it is... Indiana Jones is notable for when it being one of those IP film IPs that, that has pretty much never had a bad video game about it made, ever. Every Indiana Jones game was awesome. Is to deal with this suspicious tile in the corner. That did something. Oh no! It's a timed puzzle. Or something. Oh, oh god, I hate these. <laughs> okay, that opened them. No! Son of a bitch. <laughs> all right, all right, keep your pants on, game. Giving me flashbacks to the bloody boat bit from Venice in the second game. Oof! Bloody hell, that was... You have to really be on the money with that one. Right. Oh, I see spikes. Lovely. Well, it's Bethesda publishing it, not making it. The guys making it are apparently like the machine games people from the Wolfenstein reboots. you got to remember, Bethesda do publish other people's games in, in addition to games Bethesda Game Studios making them. Todd Howard is not making an Indiana Jones game, let me put it that way. It's not it's not how that works. I'm not sure what I'm trying to achieve here other than getting some shotgun ammo. Well, you know, you couldn't do much worse of a job than the Tomb Raider reboots, right? <laughs> I'm probably being a bit too harsh. Like I said, I did actually enjoy the first Tomb Raider reboot. It just didn't feel like a Tomb Raider game to me. Um... We're watching you. Scum. 
Miami441, thank you very much for the 18 months of subage. Okay, what has climbing up here gotten me? Feels like not a lot. Is there a block I can push here somewhere, perhaps? This has the look about it like it's a door that could open. Maybe it's just a simply a case of running and jumping to that. I guess it probably is. Ooh. <laughs> Bad monk. No. Nope. <laughs> I didn't think so, but it was worth a try. Mm-hmm. Gorilla lounge area, yeah. There's an ancient curse that turned all the Romans who used to live here into immortal gorillas. It explains everything. Oh, hello, Hothkit. Don't mind if I do. Okay, now I'm just going to go figure out which door that was that opened. Hey, Tex. Tomb Raider, indeed. I actually don't know if I need to make this jump. I think I could probably just slide down from here and I'll be all right, but yeah. Because I'm pretty sure I need to get to one of these uh, corner areas now. Because they had some doors in them that weren't open yet. I'm pretty sure I just opened one of them. Ha, 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 ha.
Is that what's that gonna do? Is it just gonna fall into the hole? No, no, it's not. It's uh the wrong bloody game. There we go. We avoided the tricksy trap. <sighs> Excuse the yawning. I'm hitting that kind of mid-afternoon sleepy feeling that I sometimes get. Occasionally, I just succumb to having a nap. But uh, we're streaming today, so no. Just got to power through it. the mid-afternoon nap. I'm very bad at actually making sure it's just a nap. Is my problem. Quite often, I have a habit of taking a mid-afternoon nap, which then turns into, oh, I've slept for four freaking hours. Oh, damn it. I was so close. A simple jump it may seem, but it's remarkable my ability to screw up even simple jumps, so that was probably worth a save. Aha! On to the next. I want to call them towers, but they're really not. Oh god, we, we nearly died. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's one of the things I mean about, like, Infernal Machine having more intuitive platforming in some respects, because in that game, for example, Indy will just automatically grab a ledge if he goes near it, and he's falling, you know, from a jump or whatever. Whereas Lara, you actually have to press the control key to make her to go into grab mode like that. Otherwise, she'll just decide to fall to her death. And, you know, that's okay. That's... Oh, my God. Oh, God. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh. You jerk. Oh, look who's back. It's my health light now. Ugh. Ugh. What the hell was I saying? I don't know. Um, yeah, I sort of... The, the, the micromanagement of the controls is a good and a bad thing. Some people are not going to like it. I actually do, because it makes the whole business of climbing and traversing terrain uh, actually quite an involved affair. Whereas in most modern games, you would just push the thumbstick forward and hold A. At the most. And your character will automatically run, climb, jump past any obstacles in front of them. Whereas... Uh, I'm thinking this is more of a push than a pull situation, now that I think about it. But maybe I'm wrong. Um...
Whereas in this game, you gotta jump, you gotta grab, you gotta climb, you gotta do all that shit yourself. And there's an art to, do, to doing it quickly and efficiently as well, you know. The, um, like I've wasted a lot of time. I don't know if it was really wasted, but I've spent a lot of time uh, on the like obstacle course in Tomb Raider 2, just trying to get faster and faster and faster at it. And learning the nuances of the jumping and climbing system. Okay, I guess we're going back up to the the balcony bit. A lot of backtracking on this level. Meow. 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 Hmm. Oh, hello. All friends in the pit. Yeah, you son of a bitch. You have fun up there with your lion. Can I get back up here without having to go through the entire rigmarole of that other area? I'm not sure. Pierre, yeah, you bust out. Hon hon hon. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and guess I need to do this again. Bother. Bother. Oh wait, no, I don't, because this is already open. What am I? What am I doing? Egypt, Egypt, Egypt with short-term memory loss. That's me. Here and then here and then hop back and then jump and then walk to the edge here and then hop back and then jump. Okay. So, these double doors down here are open. Well, one of them is. And then there's also this key. Here we go. Where is the inevitable crocodile? There he is.
Uh oh, is this timed? This feels very timed to me. No, I think we're good. Okay, right. I'm actually going to backtrack here a little. Because I want to know what was through that door. Look at that portrait. <laughs> uh... Oh. What's through here then? Secrets! I'll, I'll be honest, I was expecting more than just a tiny room with a first aid kit in it from a double door thing like that. But uh, alright, fair enough. Ancient Roman first aid kit, damn right. Uh, yes, overwrite that one. Hello, Mr. Crocodile. There we go. Coliseum complete. 22 kills, 9 pickups, 1 secret. 33 minutes. We're watching you. Hmm. Let it, Boltzmann. Thank you very much for 10 months of subbage. It is much appreciated. Oh god, hello. Didn't damage me as, as much as I might have expected a crocodile bite to damage me, really, but uh, I guess I shouldn't complain. This is a big area. Oh, monk. Oh, thanks for the bits, Peaks Productions. Been a fan for six plus years. Cheers, man. Uh -huh. Diagonal jumps for the win. I haven't even oh uh, I haven't even looked around very much at the area I was in just earlier. It's a big level. I've probably missed a bunch of stuff already. But I have a feeling I might have to backtrack a bit. I usually do, to some extent. Palace Midas. That's where we are, apparently. Damn it, Lara.
was almost too far that time. Oh my days, how many switches? when I pull them all, do I win a prize? Are they timed, perhaps? Let's watch them and see what happens. Go reset the ancient Roman circuit breakers here. So they can put the power generator back on. <laughs> Unswitch them. We can. Well, it's a puzzle, all right. What's down here? There's a whole bunch of doors around here. If you only have to pull one lever at a time. Although, tell you what. Uh, where did we come from? I think we came through here, didn't we? I want to backtrack a little bit, see if there's anything that I missed. <sighs> There's a whole other area here, which, yeah, as I suspected, is crawling with enemies. Yeah, Xpadder is the uh, is the application I've heard mentioned most often when it comes to that sort of thing. No. <laughs> Monkey jerks. There we go. Oh, it opened by itself. Spooky. Oh, no, 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 no. Save, not load. How long is the stream going to go for? Uh, what is the time now? It is... Ooh, it's 10 to 6, so maybe like another hour and 10 minutes? I might need to take a break in a minute, though, get another cup of tea, because I'm starting to crash right now like crazy. Like get some coffee. Mm. Ah. In fact, yeah, I'm going to do that right now. I've been sat down for a couple of hours right now. I should probably get up and 
perambulate a bit. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. I did just save the game, didn't I? Yeah, cool. All right. Intermission, everybody! If you need to go to the loot, you need to make yourself a cup of coffee, you need to do whatever it is you want to do, now would be a good time to do it, because I'm going to do the same. Um, right. Cheers, my dears. Go to bed early. Yeah, I did. I did. I think I went to bed at f 20 past five this morning is when I finally went to bed last night. Uh, I was up late playing a lot of Stronghold, okay? And painting. I've got some really lovely looking Wraith Garden and Wraith Lord at the moment. You should, you should, you guys should see in an upcoming hobby vlog on YouTube. They're gorgeous. Um, I went to bed this morning, yeah. But I woke up at like 12, so that was still a good seven hours. You know. I feel like I don't have an, re don't really have an excuse, so. Right. I will be right back, folks.
Boo. I'm back. Hello. I've got my cup of coffee. Oh. Mm. That'll help. Trying to find a good program to use for a non-Steam PC version of Splinter Cell. Oh, I see. That's what you need the X-Padder thing for. Right. Interesting. I could do with a remaster, couldn't it, really? Splinter Cell, the original. <laughs> you forgot you had the tab open. Excellent. Ah. Mm. How's everybody's Saturday going? What have you guys been up to? I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my coffee for a bit before you continue, if it's all right with you lot. Got yourself a cup of mint and lemon green tea. <laughs> Ugh. Nice. Excellent. Making Sims in The Sims 3. Nice. What, what game are you going to be playing in five minutes from now is the question, Dr. Fat. I'm going to play 12 hours straight in Minecraft once the stream is over. Wow. Fair enough. I struggle to play 12 hours straight of anything these days. Too easily distracted. I can watch 12 hours straight of, like, Amazon Prime or Netflix, but playing 12 hours straight of a video game, I think those days are behind me now. For the most part, anyway. Once upon a time when I was a teenager, I could sit there playing Skyrim or Oblivion for 12 hours straight, or indeed Hearts of Iron for 12 hours straight, and I did actually do that once, but not anymore. I've thought, toyed with the idea of doing a 24-hour stream again one of these days to raise a bit of money for a new computer, but, um, oh boy, when I did one back in my early 20s, to raise money for the last computer. That was rough enough. I think these days it'd be even worse. <laughs> CK2 stream that went on for 16 hours. Yeah, I think I've done one or two ridiculously long streams. I know I've done a... I've I've done I know I've done one at least one ridiculously long door fortress stream in the past. <sighs> Just do two twelve hours space by a day. Yeah. For the last cheating. Although speaking of twenty four hour streams, I will be participating in Very Access 24 Hour Charity Stream on the 3rd of April. I think it's the 3rd of April. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's the 3rd. Around 7 o'clock ish BST. I will be at BST? Will it be BST by then? I don't remember. I don't know. Anyway, 7 o'clock ish. Uh, I will be playing a board game created by Mr. Variax himself called Dark Deadly Dungeons with him and uh, a few other folks and it's going to be good fun hopefully and for a good cause too because it's for charity so remember to check that out I might make a video announcement about it or something oh yeah well yeah yeah I mean it's 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 not very hard on the priority list because, as you say, trying to buy new GPUs and things these days is... Well, <laughs> I'm not in a rush. Let's put it that way. Right. This is a big cup of coffee, so... We're going to have to play the game and drink. Ah, not game capture, desktop capture, that's what we want. Right. 
Lara's like, does this compass make my ass look big? Right. Um. Oh no. Oh no, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. The, the, for briefly there for a minute, the escape and enter keys didn't work, but now they do. Polygonal booty, indeed. All right. <laughs> Progress of some sort has been made. Fantastic. Well, I can definitely hear a baby. Hello. And your friend as well, come on. <sighs> Save, please, thank you. All right, so what's up there then? Inquiring minds want to know. Hmm. Can this be done? This is just wishful thinking. Yeah, I mean, I'm, Lara's not in a position to call anyone else a baddie, really, when it comes to the animal kingdom, at least. But uh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, is there somewhere else we can go? There it does appear to be. This way. Aha! That's what I thought. Honestly, these, these, these... Gorillas are genuinely more dangerous than the alligator is. Crocodile, whatever it is. Okay. Let's be having this then. Oh wait, it's not an object, it's just a sundial. Ugh. Well. Briefly some progress was made and then halted again. I guess we need to do something else somewhere else to get these two grates open. Maybe. On the other hand, can she not stand on the bench? Is that the impression I'm getting here? She can't stand on the bench. Yeah, no, she doesn't want to. However, that said, no, 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 no. Go back and do it again, Lara. Come on. There we go. health kit music yay it's always nice when the music does choose to play because ooh. Midas the music is quite nice in these games
Music and general atmosphere is always just really good in the Tomb Raider games. Hmm. Oh, wow. Awesome. That's in the anniversary as well. <laughs> Superb. Nathan over here. Is there a point to this room? I don't think maybe there isn't. golden opportunity yeah I know. <laughs> it was a nice animation actually yeah it's, uh, if that's just a little fun s easter egg secret thing they put a lot of effort into it i am impressed ah, I, am, I am enjoying this game a lot this is good fun Although my uh, my right wrist is getting a little bit tired because there's no f it, it, what does, if if, the, if these games could do with anything it would be an auto run button. Yeah, right. What if mine just touched the earth? Oh, it was a Kurzgesagt video. <laughs> I love Kurzgesagt because like they're. The the content is like fifty percent super informative, really interesting stuff, and fifty percent shit posts. Beautifully animated, glorious, high quality shit posts, but shit posts nonetheless. friends here? This feels like an area where animal friends would be. Ah, I knew it. Can't touch this. <laughs> the whole freaking zoo is here. Here's something on the other side of that wall, you know. There's definitely something there. Hmm. 
We came in through there. Anything in there? No? Okay. Oh, we're having soy braised chicken for dinner tonight, and I can already smell it from up here. So good. Ooh, that looks like... What's going on with that? Is that a graphical glitch, or is that something you can shimmy on? Not sure what that, that's about. in hell oh I'm stuck I am stuck I don't know what I don't know what to do in here oh it's man it's like it's like it's like being in 1996 all over again I am stuck and I have no fucking clue how to proceed uh, maybe there's a thing somewhere like a block I can push I don't know there's definitely something on the side of this wall. I think there's stuff that you can do in that room with all the levers. Yeah, I guess we might have to go back there. I've been avoiding it, honestly. But I think you're right. We might have to go back to the lever room of doom. Yeah, perhaps this is an area where uh, we actually come out upstairs and then we make our way down here as a shortcut back to the start. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Hold on a minute. Um, I've just noticed a bit you could shimmy with. Although I'm not sure where it would get you. Um, this is too steep. No, again, I think I think maybe you pop out at the top level there, and then you get down via this. Let's just go back to the lever room. Yes, these games were tough. I've never completed... Tomb Raider 4 is the game, the Tomb Raider game I've played the most, and yet I still haven't actually completed it because that game's puzzles were monstrously fiendish. And Tomb Raider 2 I never finished either because, again, it was... Uh... Tomb Raider 2 had a lot of dick moves in it, if I'm honest, actually, because, like... It had a lot of puzzles, and I say puzzles in air quotes, really, in, in Team Raider 2, were the result... Actually, no, I opened a shortcut, didn't I? Uh, were the result of basically... Um, there was a movable block disguised as an ordinary piece of wall. Which is just a dick move. On the developer's part, if I'm honest. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's raise all of the levers except one and see what happens. Oh, no, no. Down you go. We've got music. That would be the music lever. Oh, 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 hello, look, one of them's opened, right. Let's do this. A 
Oh boy, fire. Is this our first fire puzzle of the game? I think it might be. At least they were kind enough to provide us with some water. Oh my god, why? There are giant rats, okay. Um, I was expecting crocodiles. What I got was giant rats. Rodents of unusual size, everybody. I gotta be honest. I was expecting a lever down here that I could pull to make the fires alternate or something, so it looked a little bit less suicidal. But, uh, okay. Oh my god, it was an illusion! It's like the bloody leap of faith in... Oh god, no, it wasn't an illusion. It wasn't an illusion! Ah! <laughs> I think I just timed that superbly. There we go, yep. Yeah. Uh... No, 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 come on, game. Throw me a bone here. Ah, failed at the last hurdle. There's a trick to this. You kind of need to... Uh, sometimes maneuver yourself in mid-air and stuff to make sure you land at the right part of the block. I am, of course, doing it completely wrong, repeatedly here. Can Lara hang from edges, ledges indefinitely? Yes, she can. Which brings up a very good point. Is she going to burn her fingers? No. There you go. Use the little grey cells there. Or uh, rather, Jacina did. How long is this going to last for? Oh, is there a pressure plate at the beginning? Oh, you're right. That's pro. Splosh. Let's go have a look. Let's have a look. If there was a little grey square on the ground, it was indeed a pressure plate. Hmm. No, but... Let's see. Yeah, no, they're, they're, there's like there's some sort of pressure plate thing going on. Damn it. Is it so hard to just jump when I press the jump button, Lara? So close. So close. <laughs> hey! Now imagine if you're playing this on the PlayStation and you couldn't quick load. Come 
come on! Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> come on. Well, that, that was, that was fail. <laughs> Fucking finally, there we go. Not a moment to spare. We have a acquired a brick. Ladies and gentlemen, a brick. It's actually a lead bar, apparently, but yeah, whatever. Oh, I should have done the swan dive. What an amateur. There you go. Sploosh. More gorillas? Or is Pierre back again? I don't know. No Pierres or gorillas allowed. <laughs> you know, we should really leave that open. Progress music. We like it. I can hear a gorilla. Oh, 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 yourself. Oh, shit. Hello. What did that achieve then, other than summoning a gorilla? Try a different lever. Nothing. Hmm. Maybe it's more of a thing where you have to pull the levers in the right order. For goodness sake, Lara, just fucking jump up, please. It's 
odd though, because this one did open the first door. I do not know. <laughs> Is that door open again? It has, okay. Oh, you are right. They do have symbols on them. That's a good fucking spot. Let's have a look. Ah. Uh, okay, so if we want to open this one. Ah, one of them has been torn off, but then it's... Uh, up, down, down, up. So something up, down, down, up. Well done, chat. Well done. Tea and medals for you. Gold star. <laughs> okay. So up, down, down, up. And the first one is unknown. It's up, up, down, down, up. Yes! Uh -huh. Thought backseating was a no-no. I mean, yes. But I wanted to give it a pass in that case because I really was completely stuck. I'm not, I'm not, I have like my limits. I'm not like Kilgore. I'm not, I'm not willing to ha sit here for like an hour trying to figure it out. Because it wastes my time and it wastes yours. Oh God, sorry. Um, my coffee disagrees with me apparently. <sighs> like I want to keep, I want to keep moving. I want to keep that. I want there to be progress. So, you know. Just use your better judgment, really. If I've been stuck on something for a while, a little hint like that, like, no, you didn't, I wasn't told exactly what to do. It was just, the doors have symbols on them. Which was enough for me to go, oh, yeah, they do, and then figure out the rest for myself, you know? That was a, that was what I would call a hint as opposed to backseating. Give the man the pole, not the fish. Well, what a good, what a good example. Yeah. You didn't see the symbol. No, neither did I. I wasn't paying enough attention to the textures. Apparently, I just assumed they were all identical, um, which was possibly quite foolish. Okay. Well, this is a one-way trip if I'm going down there. If you're stuck, I will enjoy seeing you struggling, because I'm an evil witch. Yeah, you know, I mean, you are, so yes. It doesn't surprise me. Okay. Hello, 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 what have we here? So this is where we came in, and there's a lower bit as well. So there's a top bit, there's this middle bit, and there's a lower bit. 
What's down here then? Just sure the wind did the wind pick up. I believe it did, yes. Here we go, this is the pull pullable block thing here. See, this is what I mean. Like the first game, it actually does make it clear. Like this is a pushable, pullable thing. It's got a couple of like hand grips on it. But Tomb Raider 2 likes to do this thing where like there'll be a put a movable block and it is disguised like ordinary wall. There's no Whoa. Like there's no obvious um indication that it is a movable block. You have to kind of find it by accident. Oh uh, yeah, look, the pillow went down. You're right. Ah! Okay. Which I assume means if we go to the top now, we could probably jump onto it or something. Anyway, we'll get to Tomb Raider 2, which is a fantastic game, by the way. But it is a dickhead with some of its puzzle puzzles. It really is. Oh, wow. Hello. We've caused a big old collapse here. We're such a vandal, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> Oof. Just like landed on the edge there. Right. Honestly, Lara, why don't you just go to town on this place with some plastic explosive or something, you know? Why Why the half measures? Just, you know, all those annoying doors that you have to do puzzles to open, Lara? Why not just use explosives on them instead? I don't know if I can make this jump, but I'm going to give it a go. Oof. Oh, I didn't think I could do that. I have been pleasantly surprised. And yes, I am saving after every jump at the moment. <laughs> there we go. You never know when she's just going to bonk her head on something and fall to her death in this game, so it's probably wise to save constantly. <laughs> Okay. Was this meant to be some sort of aqueduct? An aqueduct with crocodiles in it? Gorilla! Being chased by a bat? Oh, here comes another one. Oh, madhouse. All right, we're quite done. <laughs> Never forget, people, the poor souls that played this on the PS1 had one save point per level. Ugh, the horror. Okay, look, yeah, I was right. We're up here now. This is the area we were in earlier, I'm pretty sure. But we're up at the top now. Hello, Mr. Crocodile. <laughs> I see you lurking off down there. Oh, there's another one. See the one coming back. Yes, he is. Hello! He's like, oh shit, no, no, go away, run, run. Oh, god damn it. Didn't sign up for this. I just wanted to eat some gorillas. This water really does look superb for 1996, I gotta say. It actually has, like, a rippling shader effect. Splosh. 
Does this have a current? No. Okay. The rumours that there are crocodiles in the aqueduct are completely unsubstantiated and have been denied by the Pontifex, Ma Pontifex Ma Maximus. Why was that so hard to say? Oh, hello. What's that? That's some goodies that I don't think I can get because you can't climb out that high. wonky floor up there that you would fall into this pit if you went if you stood in it too long interesting oh no fail how about this time we look before we leap eh Let's see. Jump across that. And then there's a slidey bit. We need to get over that pretty much. Otherwise we'll end up back in the pool like I did just then. So ah! awkward. Hmm. No. There's a way to do this, I'm sure. And I want that medikit and shotgun ammo. Damn it. Okay. Nope. Uh, have I played any of the Tomb Raider fan games or mods? Uh, I have to admit, no, I haven't actually. I know, I know. There's the there's that um, fan made remake of Tomb Raider Two in the works. Here we go, which looks really stinking cool. It's like like Tomb Raider Anniversary, but with better graphics, and it's Tomb Raider Two instead of Tomb Raider One. It looks really cool. Um, you can bet your ass will play that when it comes out. If when it comes out, could be a bajillion years since it's a fan made thing, but hey. Fan made game that came out in 2013. It's pretty polished. I've never even heard of it, man. You'll have to direct me to that. Okay, well. Do I just drop down from here, I suppose? I don't see why not. Oh, I see why not. Monkey. Oops. <laughs> I'm, glad that, I'm glad the gorilla found it funny, too. Oh, for goodness sake. Wait, no, no, no. We're, we're good. We're good. I think I just got the secret here, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, looks like it. You were making a funny call in the Crystal Dynamics games fan made. Oh, I see. See, the mo the waters were muddied slightly by the fact that there actually is a fan made Tomb Raider to remake in development. So yeah, and you know. Someone else did mention mods and stuff. You're hoping that the Tomb Raider 2 remake comes into Square Enix as a market for classic style games? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, sure, you want to make Lara wear trousers instead of shorts? Fine. Whatever. Okay. But... 
I'd still prefer it if she was a cheesy, light-hearted action hero instead of completely and utterly humorless. Hello. Yeah, no, there's no way we're surviving that. Like I said, Uncharted does it better, basically. Uncharted has that, like, 90s cheesy action movie feel to it. I had, like, the first three games on my PS4. I really wish they'd come to PC, honestly, because Uncharted's really good fucking fun. Bonk. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Get away from me! Dead. Really, the last Deus Ex you reckon was better than Human Revolution? That's not a take I've heard a lot of people make. Let me let me out, game. There we go. Where's the monkey? Where is he? Monkey schmunky. All right, precisely what have we actually achieved here? Other than getting a few health kits and killing some monkeys. That's the part I'm still trying to figure out. Did What did we do? Did we get anything? We committed some vandalism. Why is this bit of wall different? Is that a texturing error? Kind of looks like the texture's upside down. I feel like there's something we missed. No, we don't have flares in the first game. No flares for us.
Ah, he caramba. Well, I'm back up here now. There's something down below that I should look at, but I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> there was an entrance to the bottom level where you died. Yeah, but we went in there before, Django. We've been on that bottom floor before. Uh, I know where that entrance leads. Down there? We've already been there. Nine small mini packs now. All right, get the guns ready and monkey, monkey. I'm just gonna ignore you, monkey. I don't have to deal with your shit. These guys, though, I do. There's a crack in the opposite wall. In the uh, that one you there, you mean that? Yeah, that's what I was aiming for when I fell and died. Let's try that again, shall we? This is a big sodding level. Okay, and then we can shimmy along here, which will get us onto this platform, which will allow us to safely get back down again, but I, I feel like we've achieved precisely sod all um, in the process of this, other than knocking down that big pillar, which was itself only a means of getting progress to up here. And I just uh, don't really understand, really. It's a bat. Where's the bat? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, hold on. What's this? That, my friends, is progress. All right, then. Phew. See you, Dr. Fat. Yeah, you have a good afternoon, too. Right. What is the time, actually? Ooh, I need to stop, like, in a couple of minutes. Bloody hell. Okay, this is the... Right, this is the wonky floor. that thank you one thing I'm noticing with this game so far is that 
compared to Tomb Raider 2, there is a way fewer dudes with guns to fight. Tomb Raider 2 has a lot of dudes with guns in it. Here in a monkey. How did you get up there, Mr. Lion? How did you get up here? I guess maybe the kitty jumped. Yeah. How how high do you reckon a lion can jump? Now that I think about it. Considering how high house cats can jump relative to their size. Where are we now? Oh, we're here. Okay. So going through a little tour of areas we've seen before, but from a different angle. Do you know, I'm starting to really like this level, actually, the way it's put together. It's very clever. Okay. Oh, hello. Twelve feet. Jesus Christ. Sorry, Kitty Muse, but uh, you're in my way. I mean, you actually, you're kind of not in my way, but I think you probably ought to die anyway just to be on the safe side. Croft Manor must be like absolutely like covered in 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 like animal fur rugs, just taxidermy absolutely everywhere. Do you reckon she sends the butler around these places after she's done with it to clean up the mess? take all the dead gorillas and lions to the taxidermist. Do you know, I still can't help but feel that we've not really achieved an awful lot. Although, did I perhaps get a key that I forgot about? I've got No, I've got two lead bars, yeah. We have a lead bar collection going on. Also, stop doing that, computer. is a long level, isn't it? Not that I'm complaining, it's a pretty good one. So well, I'll get back to the levers and then I will save the game and that will be the stream for today. Finishing roughly seven o'clock. If I'm lucky, Variax will have gone live by now. 
and I can go give him a raid because he usually streams Saturday and Sunday as well, but he does it in the evening. So I'm thinking, I've got the afternoon shift, he's got the evening shift. We can bring the party over to his stream. He's live. Perfect! Perfect! As I said, folks, I will be participating in his 24-hour charity live stream on April the 3rd, so... Mark it in your calendars. His 24-hour streams are always a hoot anyway, but it's always fun to take part in them as well. So, uh, yeah. Should be good fun. Anyway. Let's do a little save. Brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure and a privilege to play this here for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll rejoin me tomorrow afternoon where we'll be continuing Daggerfall at last. Trying to make a little dent of progress in the mountain that is that game. As I continue trying to progress towards beating the main quest. And, uh, yeah, should be good fun, hopefully. Usually is. Usually is. Just a little, little, little itty bit frustrating occasionally, Daggerfall, but so far the Unity version has been really nice. So, yeah, I'll see you guys for that. Um, I will, at some point this evening, try and get a new Empire of War video up because I've recorded the intro to it and I've recorded the video and now I just need to edit stuff together and then encode it and upload it. I might be able to get that done this evening. We'll see. Regardless, I'm going to go raid Mr. Variax now, who actually is appearing in my damn raid channel list for once. Thank you. You Twitch. He's playing some Dark Souls at the moment, which is a game that he's actually surprisingly good at. Actually, is V. He's, he's actually quite good at Dark Souls, so that should be fun. Um, start the raid. Perfect. Ladies and gents, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Doodaloo.